we go because I've never seen it or not. So I'm live now. I'm just waiting for a few people to, to join me and then um, we'll get started. I'm going to try a new thing here whereby I can look at the chat a lot easier. So I'm just going to go on my iPad, make sure the volume's turned down. Live. Have I come up yet? No. Come on. Let me go to my channel then. Okay, live and go into that and mute it. Let me answer it does. Oh, no, because it's muted anyway. Okay, so I want to see the live chat. So how do I do that on here? Chat filter? No, it won't let me. Sorry, guys. Um, please. Live chat. Can't I? Uh, it won't let me do it on here. So maybe I'll watch it on here and then I'll do the um, chat here. Um, can I pop out the chat? Uh, probably not. Edit. No. Ah. Oh, well, looks like I'm just going to have to struggle. See if I can read it down here anyway. Okay. Um, I'm going to um, just say this today because I'm going to put some, um, what do you call it? Paper tissue paper and such down with some matte medium so um i just grab another brush or two i can use one for one and one for the other might actually use some alcohol not some alcohol and we use some what do you call them liquid inks so i'll go find them first okay oh okay Got some. I'm going to give the um, use it or lose it up at the moment. I have a break from it. Be that. Hey, cat. Just started. I'm just talking to myself here. I've tweeted it, I've Facebooked it. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm thinking of playing with liquid inks today. So I'm just trying to grab some of them. Probably coming up because Mandy gave me hers as well, but it's always good to have a lot. Goodness, I am so lag. It's not even coming up on the um, YouTube app yet, your briefing. So, well, oh, a few of them. Oh, oh, there the um, Bria, yeah, Bria Reese glittering. Oh, I want to use those too. Don't know. What's that? Super Black India ink. Ooh, haven't used that in a while. A long, long while. I will assume. Okay, and got some white liquid ink as well. All right. So what I'm going to do now is probably just glue on some, um, um, what do you call it? Tissue paper. And see what we get. And I'm going to glue it on with some matte medium. This is the golden matte medium. I might try it today. See how we go. Oh, I haven't used it yet. Might finish my um, Liquitex matte medium. Then. Okay, so let's start by just tearing some bits of tissue paper. I've got all sorts of paper here, not just this. I've got some, you know, the um, Who Gives a Crap Fancy Wrap Toilet Roll. 
I got some of them. Christy ordered those, so I snabbled the paper. I've only got a couple here, so I've got some. Um, just a couple of black and white here. So get some of those. I don't know where Eileen is today. She wasn't here last week. She messaged me though and said she wasn't going to be last week. So I don't know what she's doing today. All on my lonesome. Okay. And so it's just some sort of reverse of the other, the solid black here and solid white there. So Let's try that, shall we? And let's start gluing it down while we're waiting. There's um, four viewings. So my lurkers brush. Let's use this one that's in here. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to do it. They're just going to go down as is. So let's get some matte medium here. Let me just pour some in here first. Uh, let's just go willy nilly. I'm going to get the top of that. Good enough. And I don't care that. Um, it's crinkly because that adds to the texture. Okay. Let's put some of this one on. I don't know where anyone is today. Hey, um, Kat, do you guys... Um, go into daylight savings next weekend because then it's going to make a change we up here in queensland we don't have daylight savings so it will only change by an hour so i'm assuming if you guys put your clocks forward then that means i'll be coming on at nine eastern from next week on. Don't know whether they all do it at the same time or not. Hey Sherry. How are you? Very slow here today. People arriving very, very, very slow. I haven't even got Miss Eileen today. I hope she's okay. So I'm just going to crinkle that because I don't care. I want all those crinkles in there. That's what I thought, yeah, changes March 12th. Um, let's put some, well, put some plain one on later. I thought I'd have a break this week from the um, use it up. But, hey, we're using up paper. We're using up scraps. So that's good. It's always good. It's just triangle here. Hey, da. Oh, yum. Oh, you make me so jealous, Dar. That sounds delicious. Mm. Yum. Oh. Of all I've had today is some veggie mite on toast. Because I can go maybe here. 
I think this journals by Strathmore, Bristol Smooth Journal. I'll tell you, hold on. Yeah, the visual journal. Um, Dara, I um, had a look at Rosemary's um, video on the book boiling. I am definitely going to try that. Just loved what those leaves and garden um, pieces did to those pages. I'm definitely going to try it. Love it. But I think I have to go and buy a pot from a secondhand store. But also um, I'll probably do it out in the garage. Not in the garage, out in the gazebo. It's on the barbecue, I think. Definitely going to try that. All right, now so we've got some of this really fine tissue paper. So I'm going to add that to over the top of these. And scrunch it up bits at a time, just wherever they've land. My goodness, it's um. Oh, here we go. Oh, you having shrimp on your Barbie? We do have shrimp on our Barbie. Squiz cooks garlic chili prawns on our Barbie. And then we have some sourdough or dip in the juice. Oh, so yummy. What you got on the burner today? All I'm doing is playing with texture today and I'm going to use my Liquitex, oh, sorry, well, liquid inks is what I'm going to use today. She sure does. She sure does, and she just has a go, and I like that. Now, with this um, soft tissue paper here, you're going to see the colours in the background. They're going to come through, but they'll change because I'm going to use the um, alcohol ink. Not the alcohol ink. Get alcohol off your brain, Jen. The liquid inks. And I want the more the um, texture, all these crinkles, the better, I reckon. Oh, yeah, he's a mean barbecue, he's a barbecuer. I haven't tasted any better. I don't know if he's met me in yet. Some more. Now, the last time we had shrimp, or prawns, we call them prawns, um, may have been with Miss Vicky over in Baton Rouge. And I think that was 2017, not quite sure. Come on, get over there. Like real gumbo style shrimp, you know. We have it regularly here. Oh, okay. Thank you. Do you want to bring in some more of the black toilet paper wrap? It needs to go maybe down here. Probably about there. Now, remembering I did not gesso this page. We've got so much, um, so much matte medium on here that really doesn't warrant any um, gesso. So that's what we're doing. Wasn't quite long enough. That's okay. Don't know where Miss Eileen is. I know, I love lobster, I love um, 
what we call here Morton Bay bugs or Balmain bugs. It's just where they get the bugs from. Um, I love crab, um, fish, not so much depending on how it's cooked, I guess, and what flavours they use because fish can be very overpowering for me. So up here, I think. You know, we got it all covered. Let's get some more over here. Yep, exactly, da. Yep. We used to just have it um, like a prawn cocktail, so in with some Thousand Island sauce or tartare sauce and lettuce and lemon. But, um, oh, no, I love me some garlic chilli prawns and some sourdough bread. Oh, need some more. We're nearly out of it. Then we'll just uh, probably do some of this. Okay. I guess we don't need to cover it all. It'll be interesting to see what it does on the other areas. Okay. And I give it a good wipe over with that matte medium. Okay. Now it's nice pollution time. Oh, I can't suck the eggs. The oh, sucking heads. No, can't do that, Dar. Sorry. No, nice pollution. <laughs> no, I know what you meant. We had a Vietnamese um, lady that worked with us when I was in the accounting industry, and she actually um, ate the prawn heads. Excuse me. You know what would look so good on this? And I'm sorry, I'm saying it. <coughs> Excuse me, it doesn't make sense, but stinking red would look so good against this background. Just saying. Nearly done. That off later. Woo wee! Forgot I had a um. Forgot I had another a page completed on that side, so I better be careful. Sheesh! No, wasn't ruined it. Sheesh! While that's completing to dry, I'll show you what I did with the album. Because I said I was going to finish the album on stream this week, but um, I couldn't because it had to be glued and, 
you know, held down for a while. That one's held down overnight. That one wasn't. But they seem to be working all right. So, and then I forgot to do the um, insert the um, jump ring for the closure. So, I've got to see what I'm going to do about that one. But, yeah, so I, all I did on this one was use pretty much um, some of the colours that I used in both of the front and the back and then just used a stamp with gold for that on the back. Now, I did start um, a, a template to, because I don't know about gluing it yet. Not this one. Hold on. Around here somewhere. Don't know. Here it is. I've marked the holes. So I could punch the holes in there and then sew the um, signatures in there, but I don't know yet. So I'm still thinking on that one. And apart from that, when I'm working in it, that's going to stick up that side. So it's going to be a bit awkward to, to do that. So whether I... Oh, whether I just do individual pages, double pages, or and then you know, once they're done, put them, sew them in. I don't know yet. I don't think that's going to work. But you know what? I think with this one, I might do that oil book, um, those papers, and just, yeah, put them in like that, and then journal on them, not art journal, but just journal. So that's that. All right. Here we go. Um, all right. So I need to choose some colours, I guess. Now, I really do not want that page to get damaged. So what I might do is put it over here like this. That might be better. Hold on. Clear some space. Oh, I've got tissue paper here too, the Tim Holtz stuff. We probably could use that. We'll see what happens with this layer first with the when the liquid inks go on top of it. Okay, so should put down raggy underneath here just in case because we're gonna probably drip it so i might blow it but this time after eileen's comment i went and i bought one of these tinny blowers instead of me putting my head down and blowing into a straw so <coughs> what colors do i want to use i have Marine blue. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, velvet violet. Vivid lime green. I like those two. Don't tell me the name of it, will ya? Oh, Indian yellow. <coughs> I'm going to have to have a suck on the lolly. Um, I'm going to do different shades of blue. That's cerulean blue. This is more a green, but it's phthalo cyanine green. It's a blue shade. <coughs> we could do that. I don't think I want to use black. That's another black. Doubling up here. What have we got here? That's glitter ink. That's, don't know what that is. So, doesn't tell you. <coughs> da, big, big good girl. All right, let's start. <coughs> I'm going to start with this one. Excuse me. Oh, fire sight. Hmm. Phthalo cyanine green blue shade. <coughs> oh, 
Oh dear. They haven't been used in a while. Let's just drop. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Mm. I love the fronds that come off those. Conditioning of it. So try to have a drink of water with this lily in my mouth. That's more than a blue shade. That's a green. Okay. Let's try this one. That's a pretty colour. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. I used um, Liquitex matte medium. <coughs> oh, my goodness. I haven't got to the dripping stage yet. This is a bit of fun, this one. This goes on forever, doesn't it? Oh, oh I can just imagine the white mixture within that. So what I'm going to do... I have three. Yeah, what's this one? This one's oh, marine blue. Thanks, guys. Yep, thumbs up. Be good. Okay. Okay, once I do this one, I'm going to try the white because I love the way the white mixes with everything. I think I'm over that coffee trip. Let's hope there's no more. Getting the sore hand doing this. I don't know what's worse. This will blowing through your mouth. Honestly. Maybe drop um, if you reckon alcohol ink or oh, the uh, yeah. 
I'm going to try the um, isopropyl, see if that dilutes it a bit. But I really do want to use, all right, let's try that first. Okay. Oh. Um. All right. See what the isopropyl will do with it. Probably nothing. No, I don't mind. Uh, come on, just a drop. Let's roll that around and see what it does to it. Probably nothing at all. Not a dang thing. Time to get the wider. Well, but it stinks. Oh. Oh. Should put some alcohol ink on it. See what this one does first. You think it be, oh, it does a little bit, but you won't see what this one does. I love this. And I'm not going to blow it. I think I want to just move that one around. Now and blow it. <sighs> yeah, I love that effect. Oh, that's so pretty. Very pretty. I want to just move the paddles off them. Use that green first because it looks quite good underneath, just coming out in blobs here and there. But did I put no, I want to put some white up here, I think. Uh, yeah, we'll see what else I do to it. I'll stuff it up, you wait and see. I'm just going to go straight down the middle with that one. Oh, that's not too bad. I've still got a few areas there we could cover up, but I don't mind it. Uh, yeah. But I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to paint, get a paintbrush on it or anything, but what I... Oh, I would really love, I don't know, I need to get a bit more around the edges. That's a bit dark. Let's just see. And then I'm going to put some white with that and put it together. Okay, let's see how we go with that. I'm trying to get up that side. His doesn't want to. OK, 
okay. All right. Oh. I need to go in there with some black, I think, in a minute. Because what that is doing now is sort of blending it all together, and I didn't really want that. So I'm just going to leave most of it now and come in. And just put the tiniest bit of black in there, I think. Okay, I'll we'll jump in there first. Let's get the green in there. There's more concentrated green down here. All right, Jen. I'm a. I just. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to do the white. Let me know there. I might just do plain old white there. Let's see. Okay. All right. All right, let's see how we go here. Roll it around. Oh, that sticks. Now get the blower back. <laughs> I think if we get, I don't want to mix the black with it, that's all. So I, I want to try and dry this as much as I can before I get the black onto it. Okay. because it's too concentrated in areas. I went overboard. So I'm going to dry it, and then I'm going to get the black and try and get some streaks in there. So noise pollution. Yeah, like a silhouette image, but not with the black. I want a red one on this, I think. You guys are not seeing the green as vivid as I am. I'll try and hold it up close and see if we can't get that real colour in the screen for you. All right, we're going to put it up here. Where it's cooling, I just want to... Blow it a bit. Oh,
nearly there for hope. I think that's pretty much dry enough so that I can do this black. And what I really want is I want, don't want a big black blob. But let me put a big black blob on me. Just watch me do it. But I don't want it. Carbon black. Okay. Oh. I want to get most of it out. Okay. And up here. Come on. So I like that. Oh, I wanted to show you guys first the colour difference. Okay, let me bring it up. Because it just looks all blue on the um, screen. But if, no, you can't even come up close. You really can't see the full green um, of it. So I'm going to have to, let me get the phone. Where, oh, it's in the other room on charge, I think. Once it's all done. All right. And I just want a tiny little bit. Let's see, most of that's air, so... That's looking good. Okay. More. Not that one. Okay. Okay. There. Yeah, see, that's sort of more like I, what I want instead of the big blob. So what I'm doing is I'm loading it, emptying it mostly out, and then getting just the tiniest bubble on, ah, bubble on there. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, that's three. Maybe I should do five. Hang on. Here, oh, there's no. Here, whoops. There, there's four. Oh, love it. Um, I don't think I've got one, two, three, four. Anyway, that'll do, I think. I don't want too much on there. Right. So what I was going to try and do is incorporate the scraps from my craft text last week. But I don't think I want to add that now because, yeah, I like that. And I reckon if I do a big heart and then um, just, you know what I mean? You just know. Highlight it. So, hmm. Oh, duh, that's, you are biased because we've met in person. 
and I'm not an artist. Oh, what did you mean? Something just missed that all together. That's all right, we're going to do the heart. So what I thought I might do with the heart, instead of having it, mm, you know what, I think I might get another bit of tissue paper, draw the heart, and then pencil around it so you get that feathered edge. I need all of this. So, you know, you just, let's, okay, do we want a big one or do we just, so do we want it more vertical? Maybe. Okay, well, we can do it this way. Okay. So, okay, let me just get this out of the road and it can dry while I do this. Because then we can do some red ink on it rather than painting it. So all I want to do, okay, get the crease right, Jen, is what I want to do. And then get my um, paint, I was going to say toothbrush, paintbrush. I'll get a um, watercolour one or a big round one. Oh, just threw it. Yeah, thanks. All right, now, so just wet it. And then can't have it too um, wide, that's all. So then I can then just pull it apart. Okay, so let's do that. Probably should paint it, for, like ink it up first and then pull it apart. No. All right, um, now try and open it up, Jen. Yeah, go for it, Jen. Just try. Maybe if I dry it, it might. Maybe it might not either, but we'll try. Okay, yeah, it's going to. Oh, yeah, baby. Is it going to be too wide for the page? No. And even if we sort of do that... Um, okay, all that, then we could do something else onto it. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint that now, well, ink it up, I'll probably have these on here, and let's see how we go, oh, that's going to be porous. Do I want to map medium at first? I think I do. Don't I? Answer, please. That's a question, guys. Should I put some matte medium on it or just ink it up? Because it is a porous substance. Oh, is it? Here does the only one talking. Hello, people. Okay, yeah. let me try and bring those crinkly edges out. All right, we can always do it again. I don't really want the underside to come through, I don't think, with this one, so I'm going to matte medium it. You're too slow, people. You're all sleeping. Probably 
put now see I didn't want to put it on the actual page until I painted it so when it goes back on again it may have some crinkles in it oh come on nearly done with you I don't want to glue it to this either I don't want to rip it so I've got to be very careful there we be oh don't you even glue onto that stop it I should have put it on this and I think I will there we go sheesh okay I'm trying to pull it up and rip it Jen go on rip it I did put a tear in it but that's okay now I want to try and put it down so it doesn't Aha, rip. Yeah, my fingers are stuck to it. Stop it. Oh, come on. I'll see it's going to tear. I've got to tear. You son of a. Right. I don't want it. Let me try that again. Where'd the paper go? I'm going to have to do it directly under here so it doesn't stick to it. Come on, people, you should be on the case helping me here. Uh, okay. Here we go again. Oh. Okay. Guess on where the water. Oh, I did this there. Okay. All right. Let's see how we go here with this. Come on. Oh, I didn't give it enough time to soak into the paper. Okay. Oh no. Impatient, Jen. Should clean my fingers too. Oh, son of a gun. All right. That's all right. It's all right. You have the road. Yeah, I know what you mean, Dar. When you have a good, big, good meal, you do become very comatose. Noise pollution. Now you're probably wondering why I'm doing it on um, tissue paper as opposed to normal paper um, because I'm going, I don't want the undersides to be shown. But I mean, some of it's going to be, but I want the texture effect that this is going to bring. And I want to see what it's going to, and that's too freaking big. Let me see. Ah! Ah! It is too big, so what I've got to do is just bring it down a notch. There, that should do it. All right. Come on, work with me. Right, take two. Noise pollution. It's going to be an ugly art now. Probably should have came down a bit more in the centre. Let's see about that. Not bad, let's see. That'll do me. Okay, I'm going to get some matte medium onto it now. Uh, we're nearly done with it. Okay, I'll say by the end of today's stream, I'll be finished that jar of matte medium. You should go over here. Okay, matte medium. I 
I've got to be very careful so I don't rip it like I did the last time. But I should have just always used my craft mat. That's what it's there for, isn't it? Oh, see, I didn't want to do that because I've got to get my hands in there. And All right, okay, I'll let you go. It is what it is. Okay. Okay. Now we've got to dry that, but we can put some lovely ink on it. So noise pollution again. Hey, Jan, how are you? <laughs> Miracle of miracles. Good to see you. We remember um, type. We remember Jean's mistakes in typing, so we can work yours out too, Jen. <laughs> Who's going to guess what this is going to do when I try it? It's going to be stuck to it, isn't it? And I'm going to rip it again. We might have to get the scraper out for this one, the cricket scraper. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's ripping. Come on. It's just making it smaller. Come on. Why didn't you tell me it was going to happen, people? It might work out all right, the shape of it. But I think I'm going to have to scrape it, the whole lot of it. I don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to pick it up and then peel it or not. Probably not because it's so flimsy. We've got some ripped edges and that's okay. It works with the theme, okay. Here we go. Oh, how far can I go? Fingers crossed, ladies. Don't get too anxious, Jen. Don't get too anxious. Heck yeah, we did it. Ha! Huh. Thanks, Amber. Yeah, okay. Now, we might as well leave it here. Okay. Bright red. <laughs> this is called Pyrol Red. Now, really going to do some sort of texture in this but I'm going to probably have to do layers and layers and I'm going to think I'm going to do the um the black swirls in amongst it too so let's see whoa she flew flew all the way over there I wonder if I should introduce another colour. I really do love this red, though. I could paint it on, but, you know, that's boring. So boring. And we can fill up all the spaces in it. I could probably put a red spray on it. That might be nice. 
<laughs> okay. I'm actually having fun with this tonight. Why isn't Eileen here? Kick her butt. Oh, my goodness. You can't keep doing this for too long. It's really... Um, it hurts your wrist. I'd rather blow it, I think. Ha ha. I might try that before I put any more on it and see if it makes a difference. Over those veins. Ha ha. Okay. Okay. Noise pollution. Right, let's wipe this off first so it doesn't become sticky and I lose the whole piece. Okay, raggy. All right, now I'm going to go in again. I've only got the one red. I have got quinacridone magenta but I don't want that I just want the deep red and then the black veins against it so here we go again maybe I don't I shouldn't um maybe I shouldn't color it all maybe I should have some of it um clear with the background coming through. I think it's going to come through anyway. So let's just see. Woo! I think Jen's going to get a shower, a red shower of rain, red shower of ink. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it sort of like that. We could rough up the edges, at, like we could go over the edges with a bit of black um archival link or something distress archival link oh it's coming all over me now i still want those sort of veins in there too you need a little bit more up there sorry she's a bit wet i hope i can take it off hey All right, I think that's going to do it. I'm going to dry it and then we're going to, I think I might stick it on before I, um, I stick it on the page before I do the black because I can, I can. Now I know what it's doing. I've got red dots all over me. Just as well, they're my craft clothes. The other clothes that I had on when I um dripped, dropped, spilled all over me, that stinking red before they didn't come out. I soaked them, I did wonder soap, all that sort of crap, but they didn't come out. So therefore I've closed too now. They weren't originally, but anyway, all right. 
So here we go, noise pollution again. I tell you what, Dar, that painting sits really, really good. I'm going to try and find one up here. There's one up here I know pretty close to us. So, yeah, I'd like to go, but Christy won't come with me because she's not arty. So I might take the girls in the street and I think we might have a girls night out and go. I think that would be fun because we get together every month anyway at each other's places and have drinks and nibblies. So I think they'd enjoy that. That's what I'll do. Hmm. Now look at that there where those drops have initially dropped before they've spurted out and they've got all little divots in it. Oh, I love it. I can't wait to see it now. It's nearly there. What I want to do. Ooh, sort of plastic. Hold on. Okay. Just grab off the excess a bit and then finish drying it. Now, hopefully, it pulls up because I really love this heart. All right, do you think I'm going to be able to do it? Uh, oh, fingers crossed. Okay, I think we're going to have to do this again. Now, it's still too wet. In some places, I really don't want to wet it, though. Oh. I mean, I don't want to rip it. Get off. See how that's puddling underneath? It's okay. We can get this. We can do this. We can do this. Okay, we've got it. Okay. And now I've got to try and transfer it onto the page. So bear with me. Stinking red. Gets everywhere, doesn't it? Oh, oh, double whammy. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, let's hope so. Okay, fingers crossed. Uh, here we go. So what I have to do, oh, don't stick your fingers to it, Jen. What I have to do is determine where I'm going to put it. I don't want it directly. I think I might have it down here. Or do I want it up there? Maybe there, okay? So I'm going to have to get the, um, the golden that medium now because the other one's finished, I think. Oh, no, we've still got a bit more. A bit of glue. 
Okay, let's see. Get this brush. I did I say I was going to have it? Can't remember. So if I just go like this, and that's all right. This this will protect it anyway. This thick layer. It's a matte medium, so it's not going to um. Let me just push it. Oh, that's all I mean now. Push it away so I can then put this on. Now when I put it down, that's where it's going. It's going there. Look at that. Doesn't that look pretty? And I think the, oh, the contrast of the red with those blues and green looks awesome. And I love the fact that they're sticking up those little edges there too. Hey, get over there. Don't stuff up on me now. Yeah, but that's all right. Okay, let Gotta be gentle. Jen doesn't know how to be gentle. She's rough and ready. Okay, that's all right. I don't know how I'm going to define this yet. So... Let me think while I dry it. Love it. Okay, noise pollution. I'll read some chat. Thanks, Dar. And there's a few bubbles in it too, and that's okay. You can see here. And here, there's a bit of the underneath background coming through. Now, I want you to try and think of a quote for this one. What about veins of love? Yeah, bubbling. I like that effect too. So I'm getting too hot. So I really like the effect. So there's air bubbles in there. They haven't quite sucked it. I like that. Okay. All right. Love handles. <laughs> okay. Let's see, because I've got to do the um, veins yet, the black veins, when it cools down a bit. Um, okay. I think I do want to define the heart. I just don't know how I'm going to go about it without ruining those nice edges. Maybe I do inside the edges just a black heart shape hmm I don't know but guess what it's time for 
the black veins. Okay. Here goes nothing. Oh, but if I do that, I'm going to have to do a bigger drop and it's going to have a blob in the middle. What I did like was these veins here with the tiny little drop. But I can, I can do that. What does everyone else think? So, <laughs> oh, do you think? All right, here we go. There's nothing. Okay. I've got a little bit in there, I thought. Comes. No, it didn't work. It did not work. Where's my blower back? Even up here still. Not too bad. Okay. True. Don't you? Oh, get out of that. I don't want much more in there, I don't think. So I have a little one there, and a little one there, and a little one there. Down there. No, too small, silly girl. There. There, there, there. Okay. Whoa. That's enough. Okay, I do. Okay, I've uh, night cat. Okay. Oh, I am. I'm sorry, I didn't see that you there. Well, I'm not, see, the problem is, not here. You're getting confused. I'm getting you confused with Arnie Dar's nickname. All right. Um, I don't know. See, I want to use some. Um, I'm going to just put veins of love, I think. Now, where's the Mysticonation book? Because I think that would look pretty on it. The black and the white. And then I'll decide on how I'm going to define this art. Okay. I don't think I'm going to have a word called like a veins one. Oh, my God, vanity, hang on. Vanity's there, so if I do, 
vein and then get an ES and then of and then veins of love. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's put this aside to dry and then I'm going to get out the metal ruler thingy so I can... Um, Hang on, Baines is B-E-I-N-S, you silly girl. Okay, then. Well, we're going to have to do individual letters. Okay. Is there any V-E's -V anywhere? Yeah, V-E. So what I'm going to do there is just cut that down. Not with that, silly girl, with my craft knife and a ruler. Okay. Yes, Dar, you are helping. Thank you. Always. Okay. So, VE. I'm going to get the V out now. So, move you over. Oh, that's not going to work. I have to have a, um, okay, I'm going to have to have a word that starts with B because the A is travelling along that one. Silly girl. Silly girl. Hang on. E. Oh, and that was right. Mm, okay, hang on. So I want an I. Okay, they're so close, the eyes. All right, INS, okay. There's an S, they're all going to be different sizes and that's okay. Let's see. I don't like the fact that it's got the writing there, so I'm going to try this E here. Right next to that A, pain in the butt, because then they're all going to be different. So, I oh, don't. Hard to get out. I don't need, oh yeah, love's got an E in it. I need an O. I need two O's. Okay, grab that out there. I need another B as well. And I can, no, I don't want to do the B on the end of it. So I don't want to be E together without any of the wording underneath and copyright stuff. Here we go. Oh, back to go. Sorry, I'm not looking at chat. I'm too busy cutting out letters. Now, where'd that go? Which one? Right. Actually, I don't know where that starts in. So, we've got another metal ruler. A two, but it's too narrow. Okay. Let's just do this. And I know this side. Okay. There we go. Oh no, I want the VE. That's got it. Okay. Cut you down here. What I'm trying to do, or trying not to do, is cut the um, pages before these. So they're back to back. The E. We do, we do need two BEs, don't we? Or not? Okay. The I N. Surely we've got a word that says in. The word that is in. 
Yes, I think I saw you said you'd found them. I was amazed that you and that you actually found them. They're still selling them. Uh, were they? Um, that's not going to make it. Were they used or new? In in in. In, maybe I'll see it better this way. Okay. I've got the VE, I've got the OVE, right? I've got an E and I want a V. Oh, there's, no, it's the other way around. Yeah, VE is good together. Didn't I have VE? What's your VB? Oh, VE. Let's just get. The V, the veins. All right. Oh, it's a nightmare. Oh, an L O. Exactly. I should have love in here anyway. If you think, wouldn't you? Just the V. I got that. No, I didn't. Okay. Talking to myself. First one was used, the second new, but they were both like new, weren't missing ones or anything. Very good, Amber. Um, V E. I've got a bit of white on that. That's all right. I N. We should have an I N here somewhere. And a word in. Okay. At. All the two is a, I need an F as well, of, okay, of and in people. It, well, we're starting with in there, so that'll be, and then of, what, what, of, sure. Oh, there's an in, woo -hoo! It's Bane's. Oh, yeah, that's right. The idiot. See, I'm not thinking. I got so excited that I found an I N together. Oh, dear, that was on the edge. Okay. V E I N. So, what an S. An L and the of, okay. Okay, get out of there so I can find you again. <laughs> okay, da. Um, what do I want? Bones of. I want of. Is a come on, surely OF you probably find the word love in here too. Of surely rule of yes. Okay, you got it. There we go. Bones of. Oh, get out of here. Oh, it's so much easier to. Um, write it on, wouldn't it? Anyway, this may be too big for it. Of, oh, we want an L. Okay, not one L on that page. Yeah. You're right. I can imagine them, but because they are such. Oh, I bought this way back when, and I'm still using it. I don't use it in every journal, but. Um, 
Okay. I um I do use it. No, that's got an angle on it. Don't want that. It's a double L. I might want that another day. L there, double L. Uh, very small, some of these. Here. Still very small, but that'll do. Okay. Should change the blade in that um sector knife. Come on. Yeah, all right. Flames. Oh, so I want the S now and I'm done. So let's just get this up here while we're still here. Okay. After all this, I hope I'm gonna use it. Is it not rocket science? Give it to me. Sheesh. Okay, I'll rip that one when I've um, taken the other one off. Okay, that's all right. Names of love. All right, I've got them all down here waiting for me. All right. Now, take that out. Yeah, I forget about Timmy words. What are you talking about, Dara? The spelling cut. All right. Okay. Veins of love, I think. All right. I'm going to have to make sure this is level. Okay. I think that looks about even. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. So we're going to go. Now we're going to have to go this way. I've got an edge to work with. I'm lining up the edge of the page here. B. A bit crooked, Jen. Still a bit crooked. Oh well, I can pull them back up before I um glue them down. With matte medium. <gasps> Stop it. Ripped. That was close. That's a bit out of you. No, it's staying there. Beans. Sheesh. Oh. Actually, this is probably better. I line it up here first. L. Yeah, I don't know which way it went. O. The E. And then if I just put that down there. <laughs> um what's wrong yeah today is the 8th of march here at 12 39 p.m 
Okay, that probably could have been over there, but I didn't want to go over that um, one there. So now the big, oh, I should um, put Matt Medium on there, and I will soon, but just to make sure they don't come off again. But I want to try and define this. Now, how do I do that without, uh, because without losing the edges, because I'll bring it up close so you can see those edges there are all frayed. But I do want to define it. Now, do I go on the inside? I think that's going to be a two, two piggledy piggledy. I think I just want to do a thin line all around it and then maybe a thick one. Maybe. I don't know. Let me grab. Okay. What do I grab? I'll get my art, not my art line, my uh, micron pens. Hold on. Oh, let's see. Thanks, Amber. Trace the ruffle. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, let's do that. Um, let's see. And if we don't like it, I can always cover it up with some... Um, Pastels, okay. O two, O one. I think the bigger they are, the higher the number. The thick here, four. I'll look double A five. They'd be very tiny. Yeah. No, we don't want that one. Sort of eight here. That'd be better. That one's a three. Okay. Oh, what's that one? That one's a five. Okay. Let's see, it's, it's not going to be, it's not going to be thick enough. So maybe I've got to bring my um, sharpies down. Four, three, one. Yeah, now they're too small. What do we want to start? Stay longer. <laughs> and um. Food ball. Yeah. It's a 1.5. Let me see. Yeah, that might be all right. Is that permanent? It is, isn't it? Food ball. It's all in Japanese, so I can't tell. Ah, water fade proof. Okay, we're doing it. Okay, breathe, Jen. Let's stuff it up. I went in so anyway. See, it's it's come down there, but you wouldn't think so. Okay, let's because it's um seeing through. Like I don't know where it starts and where it stops. The paper because some of it hasn't got any color on it. But that's that was a good um, help. Thanks, Amber. I think this is just what it needed. And the food ball pen is working magnificently. Yeah, Jim, outside the lines from inside, as the case may be. Yeah. I should have had um, microscope or something doing this. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah, so it came up. I'm going to leave it like that. That looks really, really good. I love that. All right, so I need, do I want to 
outline those, do something to those. I don't think I do. But they look sort of just floating there. So maybe what I do, oh, I'm going to get a um, portfolio or some sort of wax pastel. So I want to underline them. I don't like them just sitting there like that. I think I want a black one back. Wait till I like says I've used stink and red and it actually worked. Okay. Which one's it going to be? No, that's blue. Oh, that's the black. Here it is. Okay. Put those aside. Okay. I'm trying to read now. You see your face in the. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay. Mm. Is now this is liquid ink, so it's permanent. So nothing I put over the top of it will reactivate. I've got matte medium on it anyway, so maybe the white. You're right. You're right, Amber. You're a good help today. Okay, but we don't like it. I can always go over it. Oh, it's got a bit of blue remnant on there. Get off. Okay. Okay, that's crooked too. And I used a ruler for that one. That's straighter. Fingers the cleanest. And I just want, I don't want it just to go, I want it a bit off. Maybe I want it a bit off centre. Oh, I love, I think I want a little bit more, you know. A little bit thicker. I just love that. Okay. And you can stay thinner, I think. And this one. Oh, I love it. Actually, that's got to be a bit more because it looks a bit black. Okay. I love it. Wow. Huh, who'd have thunk? <laughs> wow, I really, really like that. That's unusual for me. Oh, we did good, peeps. We really did. Thank you all for your help. Okay, so, oh. Yeah, I know. I'll post a pic on um, Facebook and Twitter when I clean myself up. Um, and maybe then you'll see the depths of that green. It's so pretty in there. I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I mixed it up with that little bit of green. It doesn't look like it in there. I think you can see little bits of it there, but it's nowhere near as vibrant as it is in real life. Okay. So thank you guys so much. Mark, get you playing again and using your um your old so I hadn't used those um liquitex or well, those liquid inks in so long so I might get those out again and and have a go and it hasn't messed up my little girl on the other side so that's good I've done well all right thanks guys have a good night and I don't know next week it may be a, an hour later we don't have daylight savings here so uh, we don't 
what they're doing now in New South Wales and most of the other states are going out of daylight savings, not to April probably. So then they gain and anyway, we turn the clocks back. But here in Queensland, we don't. So it will only be an hour's difference. So I'm thinking it'll be 9 o'clock Eastern over there for you guys. Thanks for joining us, Jan, and Amber, and Dar, and Kat. Thank you. All right. Bye, guys. Have fun, Martin. Where's my mouse? It's right here. Bye, everyone.